Now, a great way to find mislisted items on eBay is to use a not in title search. And a good one is at goofbid.com. The eBay not in title search essentially searches eBay for items which have your search term in the description of the listing, but not in the title. This would be a case where an amateur seller failed to put the most important keyword in the title. The keyword that's going to drive all the traffic to them is not there. So how do you find that item if it's not if it doesn't have the main keyword in the title? You use an a not in title search because it'll search descriptions and not titles. So by searching this way, you're finding items that are not as easily found to the average eBay buyer. In fact, these items are typically invisible on the eBay site because eBay search engine, remember, is really only searching the titles and it's not looking into the descriptions. So these items are invisible on eBay. They are not found really by anyone unless you're using this particular cool search. So what you want to do is go to goofbid.com, make sure you're in the website for your particular country. The default is the UK on the Goofbid site because I believe they're located in the UK. So if you're in the US, you want to make sure to, um, to switch this to US website, US eBay site. Hover over eBay tools and click right here where it says eBay not in title search. Click right there. And another way to do it is just to go to the main site and you'll see just below here, when you don't hover here, you'll see just below here, this eBay search tools. So in the eBay not in title search, I'm typing custom Barracuda in quotation marks. I put it in quotation marks because I want both words to be available in the search. Okay, so when I do this, I'm actually telling Goofbid to search eBay's listings, but don't search the titles, only search the descriptions for my search phrase, Custom Barracuda. This way, this search is only going to surface listings that have the word Custom Barracuda in the description, but not in the title. Okay, it's going to make a bunch of listings appear out of nowhere, basically, because if you were to just do a regular search on eBay, these searches would not appear. This is one example of what came up. It says 48 used RL VIN PR. Look at this. This is just, the, this is one of the most horrendous listings I've ever seen. <laughs> and here's why. This seller used a bunch of abbreviations in an effort to put as many items into their title as possible. The problem is when you use abbreviations, people aren't searching by B.CUDA or ICECAM period or SIS. They're not searching that. So it's really a, a terrible way to load your title with a bunch of really useless search terms. Now, is it possible that some of these will, you know, will show up when somebody types a search in? Yes, it is possible, but it's not as good as, as typing in the entire name. So because I am a vintage Hot Wheels collector, and that's my main business on eBay, let me translate this title for you. 48 used red lines. Red lines are the, the term that they call vintage Hot Wheels. Now this this word VIN right here, you might think is it's VIN like VIN number, but actually I think what the, what this seller meant is vintage. Okay, so 48 used red lines vintage, and I think the PR stands for purple, Woody, which is a car, S apostrophe C bus, which is stands for school bus, B dot CUDA, which stands for Barracuda, or maybe brown CUDA. Ice Cam, which is Ice Blue Camaro. Sizz stands for Sizzler, which is a different type of Hot Wheels car. And then Rose Charger. 442 is an Oldsmobile 442. And then this stands for Mongoose and Snake. Okay, so this seller really just kind of blew it all over the place. Okay, <laughs> because 
none of these terms are going to be searchable except maybe the word woody and uh, very few of these terms will be actually typed into eBay the way that they're listed here. The word 442 or the number 442 which is for an Oldsmobile is surrounded by commas and other letters and words so I'm not even sure that would show up in a search. But this is how I found this listing. Now if nobody else finds the listing and I can find I can get a good deal on this then I would buy it right. Uh, they also started the bid at a very high price. There's, there's just a ton of mistakes here uh, on this. Well one of the things you want to do when you find such a horrendous listing is click follow this seller and check out their other items because you've just opened the door when you go check out their other items you've just opened the door to a lot of other mislisted items and it's like shopping in a place where nobody else is shopping and there's tons of bargains laying around that's really what you've just done you've opened the door to an amazing world of bargains by doing that and that's that was done by just doing the not in title search you see the word custom barracuda is not anywhere in the title why because it's in the description that this person wrote but not in the title hope you can see the power of that this hack is really powerful for finding amazing deals I once bought an item for 99 cents turned around and resold that item for $71 because the person had listed it by its subtitle and not by its main title now let me show you what I mean by that here we have the little product shot of eBay hacks right and the main title is eBay hacks so if somebody was on eBay and they were looking for this product they would type in eBay hacks they probably would not type in deal getting hacks and they probably would not type in advanced tips and tricks for getting great deals and making money on eBay right they're gonna type in the main title of the item well this particular item that I found I went in and I typed in the subtitle of the item. In this case it would be deal getting hacks and I typed it in quotes in quotation marks. I found this item at 99 cents and that's how I snagged it. I snagged it for 99 cents. Now when I found it I didn't want to tip anybody off that I had found this amazing deal so what I did was I put an auction snipe on that item. What that means is that it was going to place my bid for me at the very end of the, of the auction, maybe in the last remaining seconds of the auction. And I'll show you how that works a little later. By doing that, there were no bids on the item until the very end when I came in and my auction sniper placed a bid for me at 99 cents. To find this type of item, just type the subtitle, not the main title, into eBay's search engine in quotation marks. So for example, you would type in, in this case, you would type in deal getting hacks in quotation marks just like that. This will show every title that only contains your subtitle. Okay, every eBay listing that only contains your subtitle in the listings title. If you want to show every title that contains your subtitle but does not contain the main keyword phrase, then do this. Now, the person who is kind of the star of the Insanity Workout set is a guy by the name of Sean T. So, what you can do is type in Sean T in quotation marks and then a minus sign and then Insanity. What this is going to do is it's going to return results that have the subtitle Sean T in the listing title, but does not have the word Insanity in the listing title. And let me give you an example of that. So here we have what happened when I when I typed this search phrase in Sean T minus insanity it came up with this result Sean T notice it doesn't say insanity it says insanity misspelled it says insanity this is actually a pretty good deal if nobody places a bid at 55.99 you could probably flip this for 80 or 90 bucks because it's brand new in the shrink wrap right but here's a person that basically blew it with their title. They misspelled the word insanity, which is the main keyword for this product, and they used Sean T as their first keyword. So 
When you find a deal like this, you want to go to auctionsniper.com, type in the item number, put in the maximum bid that you're willing to bid on it, and click add this snipe, and it'll, in, within five seconds of the end of that auction, it'll place that bid for you at the very end. And that's a powerful way to be able to snag these deals without tipping anybody off to the fact that you're onto it and you're going to get it.